So this is the Big Max Dry Light Hybrid X 14 series. It's a fully waterproof bag, which is really, really important to me because there's a lot of golf happening outside in Wales where it absolutely pisses down, whether it's the summer, winter or autumn. So a waterproof bag was really important to me. The second point was I needed a light bag. Now waterproof bags and being super light is quite a niche market. Any of the tailor-made stuff, a lot of the ping, big brands. What I found was they were either waterproof and not advertised as being lighter bags or they were light bags but not being advertised as waterproof or fully waterproof. If I'm honest, I wasn't 100% convinced about going for a brand like Big Macs because they're not as well known as TaylorMade or Ping or whatever. But it seems so far like a really sturdy bag. I'm going out tomorrow with some of the boys to play down in the Vale. I thought it'd be a really, really good tryout. It's not gonna rain, unfortunately. So it's not gonna be a fair test for the waterproof side of things. Let's see how we get on. Uh. Morning. Uh, it is half past nine in the morning. Uh, it is early January and we're off to play the Vale. Hello friends, we're getting round. I think we're on like hole number 10 or nine now. The card is not looking great at all. We've got many a blob. But this round more really for, is just for this bag review. I want to try it out, see how we're getting on. So far so good, we're nine holes down. It's very comfortable, really comfortable. And I'm, um, I've got quite a packed heavy. I want to really give it a good push today on the first round. But it's, it's, honestly, there's no trouble at all. The padding is brilliant on it. So far, so good. My battery went. Schoolboy error, rule number one of filmmaking is always carry spare batteries and cards. Didn't have either. Terrible. Let me give you my thoughts on the Big Max bag. The positives, brilliant, brilliant, lightweight bag. It definitely does what it says on the tin. Um, obviously a lot of bags, as I said earlier in this video, are advertised as lightweight bags, um, but they might not have the waterproof element of it or vice versa, but this definitely, definitely has the light element. I had about 14 clubs in there, 20 balls, and a coat, two litre water, bo water bottle, so it's pretty round. And it was only really on the 18th I started to feel tired in my shoulders, but it was a long, long round anyway, so it wasn't really a fair test in that respect. But um, it was light. I kept on thinking, wow, like I'm 16 holes in, 17 holes in, and I'm not really feeling the effects of carrying. The waterproof element, which was another important aspect to me, it didn't rain today, so I couldn't really try that. But the there's like a super waterproof pocket on the right hand side, which, you know, fitting my phone in there brilliant so I know that fits in fine so they've obviously thought about that but I'll be definitely testing that sometime over the next month or so when it rains all around so I'll let you know about that. The only two small small improvements I would make to that bag was the left hand strap sometimes my thumb was getting caught in it as I was trying to pull my shoulder off and it was like a little bit annoying because like there was two straps and it like just like catch my thumb and like it wasn't it didn't it wasn't painful at all but it was just a little bit annoying because I was just like trying to wiggle my thumb out um but I think I'll just get used to that my hand will get used to just grabbing the bag in a different way so it's not a deal breaker and the other thing that was a little bit annoying was the right hand stand on the side of the umbrella was getting caught in the umbrella um now maybe I hadn't tightened the umbrella probably I don't I think it was pretty tight but it was like six or seven times on the whole round, I'd put my bag down and the one leg would come out and I was about to leave it go and, my, and the bag was tipping a little bit. So, but again, like that's just something I'll get used to, just making sure the two legs are down. Um, but if there was a note back to Big Max on this bag and that design, 
I would just, I don't know if there's some way that the umbrella thing could be brought round more to the side or the stand could be pushed to the left, I'm not sure. But that was happening to me and I'm, and the umbrella is no unusual golf umbrella. So that was the only thing. Overall, I'm really, really happy with this bag. Um, it was a bit of, I felt like it was a bit of a gamble going for a brand that's not so established like TaylorMade or Ping or Titleist or whatever. Because in the run up to buying this bag, asking all my golf friends, what bag should I go for? They were all saying, get a Titleist, get a Ping bag, whatever. Um, but after like looking more into Big Macs and the company and what they're doing, I'm really, really chuffed with it. It was 130 pound, which is a brilliant price for that bag um, and you know if anyone is looking for a new bag that it's got the waterproof element to it and that is light I would really really recommend you guys checking this out there's loads of different versions of them from lighter pencily sort of stand bags right up to the bigger bulkier carry bags and obviously the tote bags and stuff as well obviously this is a first impression really it was only my first round today but so far so good i'm looking forward to seeing how it does now over the rest of the winter into the spring and summer where it'll get used no end big thumbs up to big max bags they are brilliant i really recommend them if you are looking to see more content from me head over to instagram at race to scratch golf uh, we're going to be posting more clips and photos and stuff. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one